My dear friend, I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 33, verse 6, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. We get a sense of immediacy. He spake, it was done. He commanded, it stood fast. We see this in Genesis 1 verse 3. And God said, let there be light and there was light. Immediate response to the word of God or the command of God. Let there be light, there was light. When Christ stood outside the tomb of Lazarus, he said, Lazarus come forth. The Bible says he came forth. When Christ went into the room where the dead body of Jairus' daughter lay, he said, Damsel, I say unto thee, arise. She arose. In Luke 7, when Christ stopped the funeral procession, a son had died. His mother was a widow. Christ was moved with compassion. He touched the coffin. He said, Young man, I say unto thee, arise. He rose. Christ spoke and things happened. This was the same person who spoke and said, Let there be light, and the light came immediately. Let there be a firmament immediately. Why am I saying this? There is a movement, I dare to call it a religion, that stands in opposition to the teaching of creation. That religion is called evolution. Now, in many churches even including the Adventist Church, there are some, it's not an official position, who believe that the six days of creation were six long periods of time. Listen to me carefully. If this is the case, it destroys the Sabbath immediately. The Bible says the evening and the morning were the first day, the second, third, fourth, all the way down. A day in creation is an evening and a morning. This is necessary because we are to keep that day as a day of rest. If it were a long period of time, we could not do that. Evolution teaches that we began at a primordial level and we are rising, getting better and better, evolving to a higher state. The Bible tells us we were made at a very high level in the image of God, but because of sin, which is called the fall, mankind has been descending, descending, descending. And so Jesus Christ can tell us in Matthew 24, verse 11, Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Iniquity shall abound. There was iniquity in the time of Christ. He clearly is telling us it will get worse. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Those are words from the lips of Paul, inspired by the Spirit of God. The Bible teaches us we're getting worse. The gospel was devised by God to reverse this downward trend and restore us to the original image God intended for Adam before Adam fell. My listening friend, creation was done in six days and God rested one. My dear friend, because of sin, we have been falling and falling. The gospel is designed to return us to that high level oneness with God. As you keep the Sabbath holy, my dear friend, remember that God's desire for us as expressed in the creation of Adam in his image is still his desire for us. And the Sabbath is a weekly reminder that the creator who made us in his image desires to restore that image in us. Acceptance of evolution ruins this belief and reverses what the word of God teaches. As you keep the Sabbath holy, Remember, creation by the word of God. Sin brought a fall, a decline, a drop. The gospel restores us to that high alpine standard of oneness with God. May the Lord bless you. Doubly bless your children as you keep the creation Sabbath holy.